here. So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about the bioresonance scan and really to understand what to expect. So for those of you that did not watch the prior video that we did on bioresonance scanning, check that out to learn a little bit more about how the technology works. But we feel that a pretty often question that comes up is, is it invasive? Is it safe for children? Is it safe for pregnant women? And, and what is it going to look like and feel like once I'm getting it done and even afterwards? So I want to clarify some of those questions that we often get. So when it comes to being invasive, it is the polar opposite of invasive. It is extremely non-invasive. And again, this is literally the technology and you're having the patient put the headphones on for the treatment. And for those of you that um, have children that you're interested in using this technology for, we can use it on the leg or we can even use it on the abdomen of a smaller child because uh, it's often not going to fit on the head. So it's really as simple as that and you're utilizing it to just touch the body because it's going to emit light in. So when you're dealing with it being invasive, it is not invasive and it is safe for all ages and it is also safe for pregnant women. Obviously we're going to use our discretion if we are going to do any type of treatment or therapy on a woman who's pregnant, but if a woman is not feeling her best and she's trying to get clarity as to you know, what's going on, why I may be feeling like this, is this normal, is it not normal, we can strictly use it from a diagnostic perspective to really just give that clarity on what's going on in certain areas of the body. Uh, so with that being said, when you're actually receiving the treatment, it varies quite a bit and it varies depending on the person and it varies depending on what we're working on. And we will go more in depth in other videos about what you can actually do with the bioresonance, but we can scan everything from the brain to the cardiovascular system to the all the organs of the body, the liver, the spleen, the gastrointestinal system, the tonsils, the sinuses, the joints, the vertebra of the spine, the list goes on. We can really scan anything you can think of. Uh, so when we're working on certain areas, especially say if we're working on cardiovascular system, and if somebody is coming in saying, hey, I get really bad numbness in my hands, or I have great knives, or I have really bad neuropathy in my feet, or lack of circulation, we, if we're working on those areas, sometimes people are like, this might sound crazy, but I feel like I have warmth in those areas. So you can definitely feel it on the spot depending on what you're working on. And then in other instances, you're going to feel the changes a little bit more later on. So we've had some people in working on the same thing, working on the feet, working on the hands for circulation purposes. And they found that it was the next morning when they woke up that they felt like they had a lot more circulation and a lot more feeling in those areas. Um, I would say the biggest changes that we see that are really immediate have to do with working on the thyroid, the adrenals, as well as even uh, the brain. And when we're working with the brain, we're primarily helping to get rid of any inflammation in the brain. And some of you might be thinking, inflammation in the brain, that sounds really scary, and that sounds really, really serious. But when you have brain fog or lack of, or loss of memory, loss of clarity, loss of focus, that is due to inflammation in the brain. Obviously, severe inflammation is going to fall in the category of encephalitis or meningitis. We're not talking about that type of uh, inflammation. We're talking more so the type of inflammation that induces uh, brain fog, which unfortunately most of us have. Uh, so with that being said, when you're dealing with thyroid adrenals and working on that inflammation of the brain, you can actually feel radically different after leaving the office and feel like your energy has increased tremendously, feeling a lot more clear, a lot more alert, feeling a lot more you, to be really honest. Um, I think a lot of people forget what it's like to feel good. Um, and they also forget what it's like to, to really feel like them because they're just kind of walking around in a fog. And it's really, really amazing what people come back and give us the feedback of, I really just felt clear and I felt like me again. So I would say that's one of those most rewarding aspects of our job. So when you're dealing with the bioresonance, most of the results are fantastic. The one aspect that can happen, I guess on a negative side, is this is more if the strategy for the patient is not being done correctly, which we always do here at IWG. <laughs> 
But if you're working on someone's detox pathways, if you're working on their liver or you're working on their lymph nodes, and maybe this person has had a lot of infections, maybe they've had a history of Lyme's disease, uh, they've had a history of mold exposure, those are types of infections that can actually store in your body. And a lot of times it can store in your joints, it can store in your lymph nodes. So if you start working on someone's detox pathways or their lymphatic system, but they're not necessarily doing any adjunct therapies like detoxification, infrared sauna, things like that, they might find that they feel quite sluggish and they feel kind of almost like sore and achy. So we're very strategic about what we do here. So if we are going to utilize the uh, bioresonance for working on those different pathways, we're also going to make sure that we're complementing those therapies with other things to support the patient. So everything is uh, moving very smooth and they're not having bumps in the road essentially with their detox process. So it's definitely all about strategy when you're using these different technologies and it's also why we have chosen to be integrative here because it's not about one thing. The bioresonance is only one part of the puzzle that we use here for treatment so that's very important to understand is when you come in and we analyze what's going on in your system we're going to recommend what is best for your body to get better in the shortest amount of time. So the bioresonance is often used as an adjunct therapy with our protocols, but we're often using other things to make sure that they're all complementary. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't checked out the previous bioresonance video, please check out to learn a little bit more about the science there, and we'll see you next time.